Good morning. Here we are. We are on the Millionaire Training, the Golden Principles that created the top network marketers of today. Today, we will be starting with the five major ingredients to turn your life around. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do our normal stuff. My name is Tammy Todd, and I'm here in Huntington Beach, California, and I'm so, so excited to be here with you today. Um, so I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for everything that is happening and becoming and evolving. And, um, you know, when we put our, whatever we have put our attention on is what actually comes to fruition. So I have been creating um, this amazing community of people that I'm working with. And, um, and I'm just, I'm so excited and so grateful that the universe is providing in such a way for me to open up the, um, to feel like I'm part of this community here in California that I've been longing for. And it's just been incredible. So I'm so, so grateful. I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for my boyfriend. I'm so grateful for Asiya. I'm so grateful for everything that I've ever done up until this point that has allowed me the freedoms to do things on a whim um, that I can step in and help people in their need um, with the tools that I already have. So it's just incredible. So on that note, um, my goals for today are to do my daily DMOs. I'm, um, I've got, I'm going to put some stuff on a flash drive for um, one of my, one of my associates, one of my partners and, um, and take it up to her. And we're going to, we're talking about another, um, another joint venture, I guess, um, so to speak. So anyway, um, I'm just so excited and so blessed and so grateful. And I'm so looking forward to actually reaching out and helping more people with this opportunity. So on that note, let's go ahead and um, do our morning meditation. Good morning, here we are. We are on the Millionaire Train. So take a deep breath, a deep breath of life. The Talmud says every blade of grass has an angel leaning over it, whispering, grow, grow, grow. That blade of grass will press through cement, seeking the light. And that same pull of becoming is on and in you. It is the spiral pull of becoming that is everywhere present in the universe, for the universe itself is ever seeking fuller, freer, expanded life. And you are part of this wondrous spiral of becoming. Your very DNA is a spiral. And you feel that pull to the more. Learning to work in concert and cooperation with the great laws of the universe. Open doors of possibilities that prior would have seemed completely impossible and only for the few, not you. But now, through your interest, your study, and your willingness, you're beginning to understand that not only is dream building your right, but your responsibility. For you have come here to give the gift of you, without which the fabric of creation is incomplete. For you did not create you. You can't even breathe you. You're being breathed by the great spirit of life itself, and something wonderful is happening with you right now. It is this thing called life. You've been given a mind and a body, emotions and spirit. You are spirit having a human experience, using the mind and body and emotions as your expressing field for what you ultimately will choose as the demonstration of the life you know. So in this sacred moment, Activate the faculties you have and know this, you are an image maker, made in the image and after the likeness of the one who gives you life, your mind thinks in pictures. Okay, 
So we are on the five major ingredients to turn your life around, starting on page 106. Apply them all at the, at the same time for predictable results. All of us are here today. We came here today to turn our lives in a new direction. We're not here for anything else. You remember the deal about lying to yourself? Tell yourself why, why you're here today. There are a lot of other places that you could be besides spending four hours at the Bonaventure Hotel with us. You could be any place you wanted to be. You're here today because you want your life to be turned in a new direction. There are some ingredients that have to take place. There's five major ingredients, and I'm going to share them here with you, that go into the day that turns your life around. These ingredients have to be in a 24-hour period, 24 days per month, 24 months, but there are some ingredients, five major ingredients that go into turning your life around. The first ingredient is disgust. You know what a, what a disgust means? Disgust means you don't like it. You just don't like it. Disgust means that you've had it up to here. You've had it up to here and you're, putting, you're not putting it up with it anymore. No more will you live with it like this. See, a person could have it with embarrassment of not being able to pay their bills on time. They say, I've had it, no more. A person could say, I've had it with giving a dollar when they always want me to give more. A person could have had it with a sick feeling when a, when a man knows that his wife is down at the store shopping and she's looking at beans, two cans of beans, and one is marked 37 cents and the other one marked 39 cents. And he's sick inside knowing his wife is going to choose the 37 cent can of beans. And she doesn't even like that brand. You know why? To save two cents. And the man says, I'm not living like this anymore. I have had it. No more are you going to see me on my knees in the dust looking for pennies. I'm going to do something about this. When you see a man could have had it with, in, with mediocrity, he could have had it with being the same kind, some, being, with not being some kind of winner. He could have had it with not having challenge. He could have had it have a lack of excitement, love, and caring. But when a person says, I've had it, I'm telling you, look out, that could be the day. The second ingredient is decision. You have to know what you want. Most, almost everybody in my life that I ever met can tell me what they don't want, but almost no one in my life I've ever met can tell me what they do want. Most people spend more time planning a three-week vacation every year than they do planning their future. You've got to find out what you do want. And I'll tell you this about decision. It's not easy. Decision is not easy. Winston Churchill called it the agony of decision. You don't want the agony of decision, that sick nausea feeling. You get the cold sweats, pops on your forehead, and you're lying in bed at night. It's, an, it's a midnight hour, but you've got to decide. I'll tell you what, if I found out in my life that generally making a decision is the hardest part, that's the hardest part of anything I've ever done is the decision. If a person could just wade through the heavy waters of decision, they could climb the mountain almost every single time. The third ingredient is desire. You have to want to. This whole book has been about five ingredients. You've got to want to. You've got to develop your want to. I wish someone had desire for sale. I do. I wish they could package it in bottles, in little bottles, because if we could package desire, and you could take a couple of tablets and they would increase your desire every day. We <laughs> watch the wheels fall off. Here's what I would do. I would tell you to go home and liquidate all your assets and come back and buy every bottle of desire your money will purchase. Buy every bottle of desire because that's where it starts. I'll tell you this about desire. It comes from deep within you. You can't clip a coupon in the magazine and send for it. It doesn't work that way. It cannot be bestowed upon you by some benevolent magistrate someplace, you've got to develop it. Your desire can be cultivated. It can be cultivated by a meeting like this today. It can be cultivated by getting into in, involved with a group of people. It can be prayed for. A lot of it comes from books that we've read, people I've met, my family. The only thing I'm sharing with you here is every single day, add more weight to your want and ask for it, search for it. The fourth ingredient is action. Decision can turn you in a new direction. It's action that takes you in that new direction. I'm going to give you a word to go with action. Massive. It's called massive action. Take all out massive action. Don't be like a distributor who says, okay, I'll pass out a few brochures. He'll, he'll always be broke. Don't be like the one who said, okay, I'll make a few contacts. Listen, you can guess their bank account. Or like the girl who says, all right, I'll try a sales party and see what happens. Listen, that's not the success. That's not how, how you keep from starving to death. If you're going to take action, take enough action, massive action, so the community won't have pity upon your, upon your family. 
you know, do something that's all out massive. Real sustainable success comes from all out massive action. The fifth ingredient is resolve. Resolve simply means I'll do it. Resolve means I'll be here, be there. Resolve means you can count on me. Resolve means this. You pick out the mountain in your life, whatever mountain it is, whatever mountain that is, and you say, I'm going to the top and you do that. There's going to be people to tell you, you can't climb mountains. You don't have any experience. And you say, I'm going to the top. Someone else will say, come on, choose another mountain. That's too rocky. And you say, I'm going to the top. Someone else will say, come on, not that one. That's too slippery. And you say, I'm going to the top. See, there's something about when someone makes that kind of commitment to themselves, there's something about it that does it. You see, I remember the things in my life that I took a wishy-washy way of, of attitude. I remember when my daughter used to come in and say to me, listen, dad, can we go on a picnic this weekend? And my answer would be sure, but nothing would happen. I couldn't understand why she went away. She wasn't happy. Kids are smart. They know. They know the slightest little thing. She knew that if the wind blew that weekend, we weren't going. If something, if someone got a headache, we weren't going. She, now she would come to me and ask me again. And the answer would be either yes or no. And she was just as happy with a no as she was a yes, just as happy. Why? Because either way, the result was going to be the same. We were not going to go on a picnic. I had no resolve to do that. So you've got to practice a little resolve every day, whatever it is, you're climbing that mountain. You've got to have the do or die attitude. That is that you've got to, you've got to have someone tells you, you can't go, you can't go up. It's too rocky, too steep, too slippery. You say, listen here, I'm going up. You're either going to see me wavering from the top or dead on the side. I'm not coming back. Now that's called heavy resolve. There's something about the do or die attitude. It's almost like if someone has to do it or they'll die, it's almost like time, faith, and circumstance come together, have a hasty conference. And they say, listen, <laughs> John says he's going to do it or die. We might as well let him have it. Resolve makes, makes providence. You've got to be willing to practice the little resolves or the big ones will find you hiding in the closet every single time. This is so, so true. You know, we all have a, it, earlier in our lives, you know, the older we get, the, the wiser we get, hopefully. And we learn that the sooner that you're willing to make the decision, the decision is the hardest part. And it doesn't, like we said yesterday, it doesn't matter if you pick the wrong thing, you can always change it, but you've got to make a decision and you've got to start taking action. And then you can, you can always, you know, you can always change the path as you're going down that road. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to reiterate the, the five ingredients. The first one is disgust. The second one is decision. The third one is desire. The fourth one is action. And the fifth one is resolve without action and without resolve. You know, you've got to have the desire. You, you've got to, you, you do, you, let me rephrase this. So in the beginning, you get so disgusted with something in your life and you make a decision that you're going to change it. You've got to, I can't live like that anymore. So you make that decision and then, but you've got to have the desire to make it happen. You've got to want it so bad because you were so sick of whatever it was that you're willing to do whatever is necessary and take action to make it happen. And you have got to have the resolve, which means you're going to do it no matter what. It doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter what anybody does. You are doing it. Do or die. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I don't care what people say. I don't care if, they, if people think I'm stupid. I don't care if people think that I'm crazy or whatever, because when you have that resolve and you have that, that belief in whatever it is you're doing, you are unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I am not taking, no, I'm going to the top. I'm climbing that mountain. I don't care how slippery, how rocky, how whatever. I, yes, I'm going to slide. You know, we all are. We're all going to, we're all going to get, you know, we're going to get, we're going to trip over a rock. We're going to get hurt. We're going to, we're going to slide backwards, but we're going to keep going, keep going, keep going, get to the top. Right. But never quit. Right. So you are enough demand the best of you this is what we're on now. What we've been talking about here today is getting favorable results in our lives. Those favorable results come from right inside here, right inside here. That's where they come from. You don't have to do any special. You don't have to have any special talents, any special energy, any special, anything you have got enough of everything you need right now. I want us all to know something. We've all been selected for this. This he's with Herbalife with RC team. We have, we've been chosen. We've been selected for this. 
there are always success stories before and after, and there's going to be a time in the next two, three, five, seven, 10 years. I don't know how long it's going to take when Herbalife is the finest company of its kind. When ASEA, we are the leader in the redox industry, right? And we will be written up in magazines. And over here, it's going to be the before and after pictures. Someone's going to be reading and say, what a wonderful success story. Look at that. A school teacher did that. Look at that. A construction worker did that. A homemaker did that. Look at that. A doctor. Listen, look at them now. Isn't that something? How come I never found out about these opportunities? And they might be walking by the hall, by that hallway right now, this minute, and never find out about Herbalife or find out about ASEA. Things don't just happen. Things Think ha things happen just, and you're here today for a reason, and you need to pay attention to that reason. And we've all been selected for it. I want you to know right now that you've got enough ability right in your entire being to make this thing work for you right this second. You've got enough to make it work. The difference is going to be in the little things that you do. You see, I'm a sports fan. I'm a big sports fan, and I really like football too. Let's talk about spring training. The rookies always get checked into camp before the veterans. They have, to, they have to work there first. You know the difference between a first-year rookie and a 10-year veteran? They both have the fundamentals of the game the same, and that's what I'm trying to share with you here. You've got, the fun, you've got enough fundamentals right now to make it work. The difference between the veteran and the rookie is that the veteran becomes the veteran because they do a little bit more. They become a little bit better every single day, every day. It's done in inches, not done in yards. It's done in inches. And that's the little bit of extra excitement that you're going to have to muster up. And that little bit of extra attitude control that you're going to have to have, that little bit of extra sincerity, a little bit of extra faith, and that little bit of extra fun. You have to live up to your best. You have got to demand the best of you. If you can't de demand the best out of you, then you need to take a real strong look at everything that you're doing, no matter what it is. Joseph Kennedy had to sign, had a sign on his desk and it worked. And when I heard about this, it really helped me out because I was always really tough on myself. Do you know what the sign said? It said, once you've done your best, the hell with it. And that's all I'm saying to you today. I want you to learn to be strong in your life, all areas of your life. I want you to learn to be strong, but I also want you to learn to develop your strength without being rude, I, to become strong, but don't become rude. I want you to learn how to win in life. Win in everything, win in, in the conversation game, win everything, but learn to win without pressure. I want you to learn how to be bold, learn how to be bold without becoming a bully. I'd like to see you learn how to develop your pride in everything that you do. Have pride in it, but develop pride without arrogance, pride without arrogance. I'd like for you to learn how to be thoughtful about all things and everybody and about yourself. Learn to become thoughtful without becoming lazy. I'd also like for you to learn to develop your humility, become humble minus timidity, become humble, but not, but don't become timid. I'd like for you to learn to become kind, kind to everything and everybody, especially to yourself, but develop kindness without weakness, become kind without becoming weak. I'd like you to learn how to become gentle, but become gentle without becoming soft. I'd like for you to learn how to make new commitments every single day to your faith, your family, to your friends, to your future. I'd like to see you learn how to be willing to sacrifice the small things in life, the small things that are truly important. Helen Keller said something once, and it really struck me, stuck with me. And I'm going to close today with it because I think it kind of says what it means to me. What she said was, sometimes the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or heard. They can only be felt in the heart. And that's how I feel about this afternoon. And I wish you all the luck. Thank you very much. I absolutely love this. This is so, so true. And um we, we, you are enough right where you're at, right? So step into that power, be that person, be that, you know, become the veteran. And the only way that you're going to become the veteran is to be the rookie. You've got to do that extra steps to get to the point where you have the momentum. All the difference between the veteran and the rookie is the, the veteran has been doing it for a long period of time. The rookie is new. The rookie is just getting involved and, and it takes time. He's, he's doing the daily, the daily methods of operations, right? He's doing the daily DMOs to get to the point that he has the same confidence and he has that same support and they, he's starting to build that team or whatever he's doing, but he's got to take those steps to become the veteran. So the veteran, they, it seems like they have it made, but they don't. They have done all of the work and they're still doing the basics. They're still doing the same things 
every single day that you need to do as a rookie, right? You just, they, it's easier for them because they've been doing it for so long. The best way to become good at something is repetition, to keep doing it over and over and over again. So demand the best of you. Be that person. I know it's in you. I already know. I know it's in me, right? So just go out there and be the best person. Be that person that you want to be. You, it's already in you. You're already that person. You're just in that gap between where you want. You know, so you're basically, you're in that space where you're the rookie and you already are, you internally, you're already the veteran, but you've got to fill that gap. You've got to play, you know, you've got to take the steps to make it. So you're in that gap. So just live into that and become that person. I believe in you. So if you don't believe in yourself yet, believe in my belief for of you. I know it's you, you are enough just as you are. So go out there and talk to people and believe in yourself, believe in the products, believe in the opportunity. It is incredible. And you are incredible. So have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.